So how do you beat the odds? How do you get noticed? It may help to think of each college sifting through the recruiting process using a giant funnel and getting the school to know about you puts you in the top. If you don't at least get into the top of the funnel, there's no chance of coming out the bottom. Coaches use a series of eliminators which stop the flow of certain players through the funnel. They must agree that you have the ability to play at the level their school competes. If you pass that test, the coach must decide if there's a roster spot available for you. Even if you clear that hurdle, the school will still want to know how serious you are about them. They may send you a questionnaire just to see if you're as interested in their school as they are in you. The next step would be an evaluation of your game films. If they're still interested, they'll make a phone call to your coach about you. Then, they may schedule a meeting with you in person at your high school campus or at home. You may also be invited to the college campus for a paid or an official visit. Right now, things seem great. It looks like you might really get to compete at the college level, something you've always dreamed about. But wait, you have not emerged from the funnel just yet. In fact, this period in the recruiting process can be dangerous because you are so close to realizing your goal that you may not recognize the important closing step, the offer. Not until the coach has formally offered you have you successfully passed through the recruiting funnel. So how do you improve the odds? What is your best chance for being awarded a college scholarship or a similar financial aid package? You've got to get into as many funnels as you can. The more funnels you get into, the better your chance of emerging as the athlete who receives offers. And if you move through multiple funnels, the ultimate benefit is bargaining power. You call the shots. I can't emphasize enough how important it is for you to be making the choices. If you are not in enough funnels, your choices will be limited. If only one school would offer you an opportunity, you will be forced to accept their terms if you want their offer. Most importantly, you should choose the offer from the school that best suits you. This is the reason why it is so important for you to have lots of coaches contacting you and that you respond to every coach who does. The EFC is a number determined by the Federal Department of Education that almost all colleges and universities take into account when considering how much a family can afford to pay toward a student athlete's college bill each year. It also serves as a starting point as schools begin to work out a financial aid package for a student athlete. Knowing and understanding your EFC is the first step in making actual sticker price comparisons among schools your son or daughter is considering. Here are three hypothetical schools. Parma, which is priced as a typical public university, John Hope, a private school in the average price range nationally, and Ivy Halls, a high-end private liberal arts college. Too often, these published costs alone are the primary factor in deciding where a student-athlete attends school, but it shouldn't be. Before financial aid enters the picture, Ivy Halls cost almost $25,000 more annually than Parma. But our in-depth analysis demonstrates that for many students, the expense of Ivy Halls turns out to be $3,000 less. That's less out of pocket than the state school Parma. Understand that a family's EFC, the amount they can theoretically afford to pay, is the same no matter how much a college costs. But an expensive school's bottom line cost can change dramatically. Depending on the lengths the coach and the institution will go to recruit an in-demand student athlete, provided they know where to find them, and how much flexibility they have with the numbers. The right opportunity is out there, and that's why it is critical to proactively market your son or daughter to lots of schools where he or she can compete athletically and thrive academically. It is equally important to keep every option open with as many schools as possible for as long as possible during the recruiting process. Receiving aid for college is competitive. 
The more informed the athlete and parents, the better the opportunity to receive significant funding for college.